Hey guys, we're at Christine's house. We're looking at doing a system replacement here. We pulled this furnace out, set our new furnace back in the same spot. New coil on top of it. Return drop would get rebuilt. So I want to rebuild that entire piece there. That's a seven inch piece of duct work that just kind of runs and bends into the return drop. Um, I would just put a box there. So it's 52 inches from the duct work to the side of the existing plenum. Now, so we would just build a 52 by 8 by 25 box and then do our drop straight down out of that into a new 5 inch media cabinet. Reuse the existing gas lines, drain lines all run down to a floor drain over there. Flue pipe is running 3 inch, it runs up to the ceiling. We'll go straight out the back of the house. I don't know what it does a 90 when it goes out on that side of the house. Refrigerant lines that get flushed and pressure tested, they go out right there next to the dryer. Electrical. Runs in conduit there up above the joist. Um, it's pretty much everything downstairs. It is a very skinny stairwell. You'll have to use the back door here to get in and out. Here's our outdoor unit. We pulled this unit up, set a new pad down, new disconnect box, new electrical lift. Um, looks like they got a gutter leak that's dripping around on top of the air conditioner. Um, that's one that we can fix. We'll just make sure everything's nice and level. The disconnect box is going to have to get replaced. We can probably use that one as a junction box there. Um, yeah, we can use that as the disconnect box, but it's not going to be in the main spot. Just be careful, this disconnect box is completely, or the disconnect itself is completely submerged here. There's the three inch flue pipe. And then as far as access, you have to come in the front door um, or go through that back door that I just showed you.